All right, so this episode of Building an X-Set, I am going to go over my first autocross event with my Turbo Exoset. Uh, I have never done any sort of racing, autocrossing, track driving, anything like that in my entire life. And this is my very first attempt. So uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys basically, this video is gonna be my AM runs on Saturday. Uh, we got about uh, six, seven runs. Uh, per shift or whatever you want to call it. About, got about six to eight runs in the morning, about six to eight in the afternoon. I'm going to show you this video, kind of me learning and how I went about driving the course and learning the course and just kind of show you the progression of my times uh, throughout the morning. So when the video is all done, I'll get back at it, explain a little more of how the day went. Terrible. See me stand at the end? I didn't. Hard to see. Oh. I mean, like, well, I hit the cone over here, didn't I? Yes. Bad? Like, run all the way over it? I didn't see. I was trying to take it slow, but, like, the tires are just terrible. Like, come around going to the finish line. I was trying to give it a little gas, and then it's just gone. Yeah. I was trying to go slow, but then I'm like, oh, fast. doing good, doing good, and then I go too fast. Doing well? No. I need to slow down and learn how smooth to do it. Smooth is fast. I know. Smooth is fast. I just, I get going, and then it's like, whoa, and then That's cool. I'm going to piss people off if I keep hitting cones. I'll just make you run.
All right, so to wrap this video up, I just got a few quick notes I wanna go over with you guys. First off, the car. The car is extremely fast. It was, um, you know, acceleration was about what I was used to and expecting. I just was uh, quite surprised by the cornering and the, you know, agility of the car. It really kind of blew me away and compared to, uh, you know, driving a just a normal street car. It's very light, very fast, very quick turn in, um, can turn very sharp. The grip is just out of this world, even with street tires. Um, the tires really were the limiting factor for me, but I need to stay on them quite a while here just while I'm learning how to autocross and what to do. Uh, one thing that did help, the one modification did make the car at the racetrack was uh, removing the rear sway bar. That helped me drop about another second um, in the, of lap times in the afternoon down in the 85s or so. Um, so that, that helped quite a bit. Uh, my fastest clean time of the day was like, I think an 86. Um, I believe that happened in the afternoon. Maybe it was one, no, maybe it was one of the morning runs, but, um, that was my fastest clean time. No cones, no missed gates, anything like that. Uh, and also with the car, you know, it pretty much performed flawlessly. Uh, the only issue that I really had was, uh, one of the, uh, charge pipes on the intercooler rubbing against the valve cover made a little noise. I mean, it's not really an issue, uh, just an annoyance. And then the only, the only actual issue was, uh, one of the exhaust hangers I made. I didn't put any weld around the end of it to keep the rubber hanger from falling off. A lot to learn. I gotta learn car control better. I have to learn, um, you know, smooth is fast and really you know, this, this run, like you saw my first couple, my first round, I just went crazy. And then I actually started slowing down. And when I slowed down, I went a lot faster. I mean, several seconds faster. And then I started dropping two, three seconds a lap down. So, um, you know, smooth is fast and just going slow and not driving over the limit is much quicker than spinning out. So I need to learn that. I'm, I'm still working on finding the edge of the car and what it's capable of and learning to drive underneath that, but just a hair underneath the, the limit of performance of the car and really learning how to read the course and follow the cones and, you know, learning the course before you start racing, do a lot of walks or bike rides around the track just to learn where your turns are, where you need to cut cones close, um, you know, knowing the next couple turns ahead where you are just so you're not confused and lost on the track is the hard part. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little long. I think I'm going to do another one of the afternoon runs uh, here in the next, uh, hopefully, couple weeks. I'll have that up for you. But anyways, uh, if you like my stuff, please hit subscribe down below. I would appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one.